All right, guys. Let's uh, let's make a new pilot. Okay. So we haven't started any missions yet. We're gonna go in here. We've just been uh, uh, assigned our quarters or a starfighter ensign. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the button to start progressing missions. So progress. Okay, so we just completed the D34 platform mission. Uh, we were awarded a TIE fighter model. Model, patch, and wings awarded for the first combat flight in the TIE. Um, I can only add one um, object per mission. So technically you would have got your wings on the first mission, but you get them on your second, so we'll progress. Boom, wings, pilot wings. Okay. Third, this is technically, I guess, mission 12, because it's the first three missions are 9, 9, 10, and 11. 9, 10, 11. So I guess this is mission 11, so we're progressing to the third mission. Uh, TIE Interceptor model, fourth mission, TIE Bomber mission, uh, metal, uh, model. Uh, fifth would be the gunboat. Sixth is the end of the first battle, and I put battle stripes on the helmet here. Um, I've also started to change the skirmish rank, but I haven't fully finished it yet. So until you reach Marksman 4th class, nothing shows up on your helmet. Okay, so um, next. Okay, so you get the fleet poster. Um, and I forget why I made that. I think there was a mission where you encounter some things that, that's significant. That battle medal should have come when the battle stripes came, so I've got to fix that. Um, next mission, shuttle poster. Next mission. I don't know if I clicked it. Next mission. <coughs> Electro binoculars. Next mission, tie poster. Next mission, got a few more battle stripes. So that's your second battle completed. This this obviously can change. I mean, I, I took a while to do it, but this is just a sort of stand-in to get an idea of the system. Okay, so that battle's over. Um, okay, so uh, this next battle we get the rebreather, or the next mission we get the rebreather. Uh, then we get a, uh, the Empire Ring. Oh, I gotta change that. Okay, that text is wrong. Um, we got another battle. Group commander citation. Okay, next. Sure, Captain Finlay. Next. Okay, so this should be the first mission that you encounter Thrawn's VSD stalwart. So, I don't know how accurate it is to canon, but we, in Rebels, his uh, emblem is this emblem here. And I... I guess it technically represents the Chimera. Maybe he still has a Chimera. It's just not seen in TIE Fighter. I don't know. Anyway. So, you meet Thrawn. You get a pendant for having served in his flight, in his uh, group. Next mission. More battle stripes. Next mission. Uh, some sort of convoy mission that you're supposed to escort. So, I don't know. I just... I was like, ah, oh, some convoy pilots. Blah, blah, blah. It's just... It's just garbage. Next mission. Uh, I don't think I have anything set. Nothing set. Okay. This mission. Get the Empire flag. I think it's some sort of diplomacy mission between two warring factions. This is quote unquote supposed to be the diplomacy flag. Blah, blah, blah. Next mission. More battle stripes. Next mission. You get a blaster. I think this is the mission where your wingmen turn on you. So, after that mission, it's like, I'm keeping my blaster in my quarters now, blah, blah, blah. Okay, next mission. It's the first time to fly a TIE Avenger. Next. I don't think I have anything set. Uh, next. Okay, so this should be the end of another battle, so you get a little battle racing stripe along the helmet here. Next mission. Uh, again, I need to set the medals correctly. I don't think they're set right. <laughs> Okay, next. I don't think anything 
next set. Next. Okay, here we go. So we've got another sort of battle stripe. These battle teeth here. Uh, I tried my best to make this represent like a silver paint. Because this is white, so then this would be silver. Because I use silver on my actual helmet. So um, Not as colorful as Rebel helmets. Look a little bit more professional, I think. Okay, next mission. Uh, nothing set. Next. Okay, that should be the first TIE Defender mission. And then next, another battle stripe. Uh, I guess that was a short battle. So more battle teeth. And I, I of the designs I'm putting on the helmet right now, I'm, I'm literally just going off of my own creativity. I have no source in canon for this. If anything, the 501st says there's only a handful of custom, custom items that you can do to the helmet. And they're all on the front of the helmet because that's all we see in the movies. And since I think that's a narrow-minded view, I'm putting stuff on the back because I can Okay, next. Uh, okay, so this mission, I think you're supposed to be evacuating a TIE Avenger factory that's making TIE Avengers. So I'm assuming it's staffed by Sinar Fleet Systems people. And this is the Sinar Fleet Systems logo. So after completing that battle, you get the Sinar Fleet Systems logo on the back of your helmet. I think it looks cool. With all the hard angles that I'm going with. Okay, next mission. Another battle. So again... The metal should be showing up the same time this does, but I don't think I have it set. <clears throat> okay, next. Uh, I don't think I have anything set. Next. Next. Okay, so then this is uh, another battle. You get these mohawk diamonds across the top. Okay, next. 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 Okay, I think that was it. There's still... I think I'm still only around mission 43, so there's still about 10... Um, empty spots to put stuff in the room plus a handful of gaps from earlier so that's great but again the missions go up to 83 so anything past 53 nothing will show up in the room because it's the DAP files and the front text files aren't set up to recognize anything beyond that 53rd mission but this is what I've got so far so there's that